The world has watched as the Islamic State group carries out its brutal campaign in Syria and Iraq, taking large parts of both countries while recruiting foreigners in their fight for an Islamic caliphate. Now, months later, President Obama is putting America on the offensive. I've made it clear that we will hunt down terrorists who threaten our country wherever they are. That means I will not hesitate to take action against ISIL in Syria as well as Iraq. This is a core principle of my presidency. If you threaten America, you will find no safe haven. Mr. Obama spoke directly Second, to a war-weary we'll American public late Wednesday after the recent beheading of two American journalists by the militants in videos that confronted Americans with a new threat. Mr. Obama unveiled a U.S. counterterrorism strategy similar to U.S. efforts in Yemen and Somalia. His goal, he said, to degrade and ultimately destroy the Islamic State, also known as ISIL. The president announced the United States will now go after the militant group's safe havens in Syria, while increasing military support to the moderate Syrian opposition fighting both the Islamic State and President Bashar al-Assad's regime. And with a new Iraqi government in place, the United States will also expand its air campaign in Iraq where the military has so far carried out more than 150 airstrikes while sending 475 additional U.S. military personnel to the country to support Iraqi and Kurdish forces. But the president was clear. And I want the American people to understand how this effort will be different from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It will not involve American combat troops fighting on foreign soil. Mr. Obama emphasized the United States will not be alone in the effort to take out the Islamic State. NATO allies and, more importantly, regional Sunni-led governments, including Saudi Arabia, are expected to play a key role. Secretary of State John Kerry is in the region, seeking to develop the coalition. But in order to ramp up U.S. military aid, particularly to the Syrian opposition, the president first must go to Congress. Mr. Obama called on U.S. lawmakers to support the effort in order to show the world that Americans are united in confronting this danger. Arupande, VOA News, Washington.